Hey, hello, I'm here. This is a video. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Trans Tuesday. Today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit following off of last week's topic and even though last week's topic followed off the previous week, kind of liking this idea of flowies. Today's video is going to be titled, But You Look Like a Blank. And it's going to be the difference of gender identity and gender expression. So I know I covered this I think a lot in my last video and a lot of these topics tend to flow into each other and have kind of similar things said about them, but I still think it's important to have a video just for this. The way you express a gender is not the same as how you identify. It doesn't matter what your pronouns are or what you identify as, masculine, feminine, in between, neither. How you dress is not how you identify. Gender expression and gender identity are two different things. My gender identity is transmasculine. I use he, him pronouns, I'm male. However, my expression isn't always a very masculine expression. A lot of times I have a feminine expression. Sometimes I wear crop tops like I was last week. I wear skinny jeans and I enjoy doing stuff like that. And I like lighter pastel colors. I dye my hair and those things are not necessarily seen as masculine. Those expressions of gender do not define my actual gender. In my opinion, your expression is more of an expression of your personality and less of your gender. That's what it is for me, at least anyway. How I dress and how I talk and everything like that is completely an expression of my personality. It has nothing to do with what my gender is. I like to paint my nails sometimes, so I paint my nails, and I enjoy dyeing my hair. And those are things that are seen as traditionally feminine things to do, but I'm still identifying as a man, and I'm still using he, him pronouns, but it's just part of my personality. It's something that I enjoy doing, and it doesn't really stem from my gender. And it can apply to you too with whatever. There's this video on BuzzFeed a while back. I'll see if I can remember to link it below. It was about this trans guy, and he did not pass. And by pass, I mean present as traditionally cisgender male. He didn't bind, he hasn't gotten surgery, he's not on hormones, and he still has long hair. But he still identifies as male and uses male pronouns. I haven't watched the video in a while, so I'll link it below because I don't want to get any information about this video wrong. So if you guys want to check it out, you can totally go check it out. His identity was separate from how he expressed himself physically. You can still be transmasculine and not bind your chest. You can still be transmasculine and have long hair. Just how you can still be transfeminine and have short hair. Just how you can be transfeminine and not wear a bra. Like, it doesn't matter. The way you dress is an expression of your personality and less of your gender. At least that's how it is now for me. I know when I was first coming out, I tried to fit such a stereotypical mold for masculinity. I would wear cargo shorts, I would be completely unhappy with how I was dressing, I'd wear these bulky, these ugly shoes, like skater shoes, but like cheap skater shoes, like the Hawk brand shoes. It was just not a pretty sight. But I'd wear them because that was the in masculine trend at the time. But that was not me. And it was not me at all. And I was very unhappy dressing like that. And it's a case like that where I feel like you're dressing for your gender identity. Then as I got more comfortable and secure in my identity and my sexuality that I was like, hey, I can't afford to be this unhappy just so other people feel comfortable. And I started dressing like myself. I'm wearing skinny jeans again. I paint my nails, I dye my hair, all this fun stuff. And I feel genuinely like myself. Like I said, it's an expression of my personality and not of my gender. How someone presents and how someone looks to you has absolutely nothing to do with their gender. You could think someone's a guy, and by think, I mean assume, because you shouldn't assume someone's gender in the first place. It is so much safer to use neutral pronouns like they, them, until you are with them one-on-one, -on -one and you talk to them, and you're like, hey, what's your pronouns? Real simple thing to ask. Or, I have this lovely thing that's actually sitting right here that I forgot about. It's a name tag thing, and it says, my pronouns are he, him, his, what are yours? If you're going to like an LGBT inclusive event, these things are super cool because then you don't have to spend that awkward conversation about like pronouns all the time. So just wear it and just he him his. It's great. Someone's pronouns might not be what you think they are. People still tend to use female pronouns with me and like when I go to a restaurant, they're like, how are you ladies doing? Just because I have more feminine inflection in my voice, 
even though my voice is clearly very low because of the testosterone, well, a lot lower than it was anyway, if you guys have seen some of my older singing videos, you know that, or because, like, I have colored hair or I dress more feminine, people automatically associate that with woman and female that they use the feminine pronoun, but those are not my pronouns. <laughs> So you could think that someone uses male pronouns, but they use female pronouns. It's just so much safer to not assume, especially when you're talking about this person out loud. Please use gender neutral pronouns because it's just safer for everyone and then you avoid misgendering. And like, misgendering is such a huge thing for trans people, let alone. And even some cis people like get really uncomfortable when they're misgendered and it makes complete sense because it's not accurate. And it's like, a very, it takes an emotional toll, like, this is a different video topic, but, like, it needs to be said here, too. Like, don't misgender people. Like, please just use gender-neutral pronouns until you know for sure what their pronouns are. And by know for sure, I mean they've told you. Even if someone identifies male, or if they're trans-masculine, they might not feel comfortable using male pronouns yet. So if you have a trans friend who's like that, like, make sure that, too. Okay, pronouns is a different video. Let's stop talking about pronouns. Back to gender expression. They are two different things. Gender expression, gender identity. Like, the way I express my gender, I don't know how I express my gender, actually. I mean, I say I'm gay because I'm gay because I'm a man who likes men yeah <laughs> I think that's to be honest I think that's the only thing I say in self-define myself that like expresses my gender outwardly like that because the way I dress doesn't I just dress how I'm comfortable and I think that's what everybody else should do like if just dress how you're comfortable the way you express yourself the way you dress the way you talk all of that has nothing to do with with your gender identity or like what pronouns you use or what your gender is. So don't feel like you have to be secluded to a certain thing just to fit your identity. Your identity and your expression are not the same. I mean, if they are the same, great, that's cool, like, I, I, good, good for you, but like, they're separate entities that sometimes correlate. That's all I have about that and yeah. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video, and if you did enjoy that video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you enjoyed about it, or if you have another smaller topic that was mentioned in this video that you want me to do a video on. I love taking suggestions from you guys, especially for my trans education videos, because I want to know what I can help you with. And if you enjoyed it so much, you might want to subscribe to my channel, because I post a trans education video every Tuesday, and then another, like, vlogger-style video every Thursday. So that's two videos a week coming your way. And if you like me that much, you might want to check out my collab channel, which is called Quite the Collab. The links to that will be in the description, and I post every Wednesday. Also, if you care to, you can follow me on my social media, which is all at the Riley Kyle. I'm always active on all of it, and I interact with a lot of people that way. So if you want to interact with me, talk to me, and you're not necessarily my direct friend yet, which would be a shock because only my direct friends watch these videos. You can contact me through there, all my social media, like I said, at the Riley Kyle. Links to that will be in the description. That's it. That's all I've got. And I love you guys. And I will see you guys on Thursday, okay? Bye.